Boom, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pandu from TechGood and today we are going to talk about how to protect your motherboard. So I have recently in the past six months I have literally blew blued up uh, two motherboards. So I'm gonna tell you how to protect this motherboard. So this is a motherboard from uh, MSI. The model number is uh, Pro B760 M E DDR4, and it supports uh, both Intel uh, 12 and 13 gen processors. So let us roll the intro. Void opened in the air. Just suck me. First of all, uh, if you are new to this, uh, first of all, if you are new to this channel, uh, do, do drop a like and uh, do comment uh, whether it is a negative or positive one. And please do subscribe my channel. Take you. I'm really about to achieve 4k subscribers on my YouTube channel. So, first of all, the first tip is uh, keep it clean, like. Uh, I know there are lots of gross things you do on a PC table uh, so I don't want to speak about it as you know and uh, to protect your motherboard first of all you have to keep it clean your PC should be completely dust proof or uske andar, uh, should not have all the spidermans ka spider webs and things so, and uh, it should not be dusty enough so when the dust accumulates, uh, the airflow being stuck so that uh, the heat cannot uh, disperse uh, smoothly. So literally the dust will block all the vents and uh, it will uh, literally choke the PC and uh, which decreases the ventil de which decreases the ventilation of the PC. And talking about uh, another thing, use pro uh, another tip is that use proper grounding. Grounding is no, uh, nothing but earthing. Like uh, earthing is compulsory necessary for Indian houses. What uh, earthing does it? Uh, it just prevents like uh, all these particles uh, to minor shocks. Like uh, it prevents from uh, typical minor short circuit. So earthing is compulsory if you are using the PC. Uh, otherwise you can use a spike guard which has fuse if something goes wrong the spike will blow off uh, so you can replace the spike uh, from the electronic uh, appliance store uh, around 30 rupees 45 rupees and it will also help you in preventing the short circuit of the motherboard another thing is that uh, handling it with care so what uh, handling with care is that like uh, when you are disassembling your PC or assembling your PC there are lots of uh, pins on the motherboard as you can see here so I'll show it to you you can see there are lots of pins uh, on the front as well as back uh, when the pins gets bent or when the pin comes contact with each other like two different pins comes contact with each other each other literally your motherboard will be blown off because of uh, the contraction between two different pins so i suggest you to is that please handle with care your motherboards as you can see here there is a bent pin over uh, let me show it to you like uh, there is a bent pin over i suggest you to literally use it with caution and uh, your motherboard consists uh, all of the delicate parts over it like a uh, minor pressure can also just uh, literally damage your motherboard another thing is that use stands off another thing is that use stands off otherwise uh, while building your pc just uh, place your motherboard and the motherboard box so that uh, it prevents branding and uh, when you're placing the motherboard in the contact with the cases or when you are fitting in the motherboard into the case uh, just don't apply too much pressure while fitting the screws and stuff because it can literally bend your uh, motherboard so as you can see this motherboard is completely flat uh, but uh, when you apply much pressure uh, you can see a slight bend on the motherboard which will completely broken which will completely break all the pins uh, behind the motherboard like uh, you can see there are lots of pins when you do this uh, when you flicks the motherboard or when your motherboard gets bent 
uh, it will definitely damage your board so avoid applying too much pressure uh, while assembling your pc i suggest you to do one this is a other motherboard box so, so i just you want you to demonstrate like uh, while uh, assembling your pc you just uh, keep your motherboard on the motherboard box as i am showing here like i am struggling a bit uh, sorry for that because i am the one only shooting with the camera and as well as explaining you all the things if you like my effects please do drop a like uh, another important tip is that do monitor temperatures uh, regularly so it is summer and uh, usually uh, india is an humid place and uh, summers are pretty worse to be honest like uh, normal iphones when uh, keep in check of uh, CPU temperatures. Uh, if it is overheating, reapply the thermal paste. Uh, so check links in the description for that. Uh, another thing is that uh, mind the graphic card uh, uh, temperatures because uh, it will directly impact on your motherboard. Uh, another thing is that uh, monitoring all the components temperatures will help you in a long run. And another thing is that uh, if you are uh, leaving your pc ideal don't just put it on sleep mode just completely shut it off so that your pc will get certain type certain amount of rest so it when uh, your pc in a rest mode uh, like uh, the temperatures will be not so high because uh, you are not using it but uh, when it is in the sleep mode uh, the background applications usually keep on running which will uh, also be a burden on uh, uh, processors ram uh, ssgs hard drives and uh, background in background typically when you put in a sleep mode uh, the process will keeps on going uh, and uh, your pc will be not in completely shut down mode so uh, i suggest you to not put your pc in idle for uh, too many hours so when you're not uh, using it please uh, definitely shut down your pc and uh, another thing is that uh, if you are in India or any other hot uh, or warm com, uh, regions, I uh, suggest you to use a uh, use, uh, different uh, type of uh, CPU coolers which will uh, help you to reduce the overheating issues and uh, please do reapply the thermal, pla thermal paste on your CPU for uh, ev every 3 months. Like every 3 months please just wipe, wipe down your old uh, therm thermal paste on your CPU and reapply it and place your cpu cooler back uh, if you want to how to do it uh, i will make a video on it so do comment on below and another tip is that do update your bios uh, regularly check for bios updates in your respective motherboard uh, websites and uh, the basic full form of bios is that basic input output system like uh, all the input and output components are controlled by bios so keep it uh, the bios update bios updates uh, please do check for the bios update regularly on the respective motherboard motherboard brands website bios uh, always improve the stability uh, compatibility and uh, performance of the respective cpu or this system in this uh, newer kind of generation uh, lots of people try to overclock their uh, pieces i mean uh, to increase the fps or to increase the performance lots of in generation people do overclock their pieces i did uh, a lot uh, and i have burned almost two pieces like uh, pre previously i used to have a amd fx 6300 cpu yeah i'm feeling little bit nostalgia so i have boosted it for 5 gigahertz and i just blew down for it uh, so overclocking uh, whether a graphic card cpu or a ram can cost you a lot because uh, uh, when you use the when you use your pc or a computer at the base settings i mean uh, at default settings uh, you will not feel much on load you will not feel that much load on the pcs when you want to extract so much performance and you try to overclock it and the pressure on the pc components goes skyrocketing like this which will impact your pc parts so i can suggest you to stop uh, doing overclocking another thing is that uh, the companies or the brands know how much they can push their components so i suggest you to 
don't experiment with your pc components just be it in the way they are so you will save or you will end up saving lot of money because uh, your pc will parts your pc parts will last uh, last much longer than uh, other people pc parts the search protector uh, such as uh, ups inverters so that uh, when uh, the power fluctuates or uh, when the power continuously goes off and on it will directly spoil your pc components because when uh, the current goes off, uh, off suddenly like uh, when the pc is uh, running at the max potential when you go when it goes through the power dip uh, and uh, when it goes to the power dip the performance usually falls away and it will directly improve uh, impact on the voltage fluctuations of your uh, motherboard like uh, your motherboard requires certain amount of uh, electricity to the work when the power gets uh, down uh, so it will not uh, run on the maximum capabilities uh, otherwise uh, when the power goes up like uh, when it gets higher voltage uh, your motherboards also face some issues uh, a lower dip in the electricity and the uh, higher wave in the electricity is doesn't good for your motherboard and when your pc is running uh, continuously and out of nowhere with the power shuts off uh, it will directly impact your pc's uh, components such as power supply and uh, other uh, components and uh, to prevent this uh, issue one should get an ups or an inverter uh, so that when the power goes off it will directly run on the secondary power backup such as ups and inverters and uh, you can shut it down normally do regular maintenance man uh, for every two weeks just uh, get a blow dryer or a blower and uh, open your uh, computer case and just blow the all the dust away and uh, just uh, check all the cables whether they are all right or check all the pins on the motherboard whether they are all right or uh, all right or uh, or there are any signs or of wear and tear on your motherboard or any other components and uh, just check whether uh, the cpu fans are proper all the cable connection of the pp pc proper just do all this uh, regular check so that uh, your uh, pc can uh, run at their maximum potential like uh, a small minor uh, damage can also lead up to a big minor damage in the pc case so i suggest you to just go through all the pc cables uh, components regularly at least uh, two weeks or three weeks or once in a month once in a month uh, just uh, check uh, all the pc components whether they are in good condition or not uh, so if something is not in good condition whether you get it repaired or just replace the component so that uh, you will not face a issue majorly pirated software because the lots of pirated software comes with uh, comes with lots of uh, mal malware which will directly impact your software uh, and hardware hardware as well like uh, it will also lead to stolen uh, in software items it will also lead into stolen data and stuff in uh, hardware it will uh, leads to overheating and so uh, use all legal application don't do any illegal activities and uh, don't use pirated software on your pc like in short term it doesn't affect you much but in long term it will make a huge impact on uh, your pc cell conditions another thing is that do backup uh, backup of data like uh, when you are doing some work uh, whether it is an office work or whether it is a school work like uh, no one wants the, the data to be lost or uh, and stuff like uh, i'm a video editor to be honest so I did uh, a video for 8 hours in a day but uh, suddenly my PC starts stop working and uh, so you can't uh, retrieve the data so I suggest you to use external hard drives and pen drives nowadays cloud storage also in trending things so like uh, cloud use applications like uh, Google Drive, Dropbox and use external SSDs uh, and uh, external hard drives, uh, external pen drives for uh, storage data and always keep a backup of important files so that uh, you won't fall in trouble like uh, when your PC gets uh, shut off or uh, when your PC stops working you can take the backup of the data uh, on another PC and you can do your work on continue your work on that so I kindly suggest you to take a backup of uh, and uh, these are the some of the tips 
uh, I want to give you uh, to protect uh, your motherboard or to protect your PC because motherboard is in a uh, part of the PC like uh, CPU is called as a brain of a PC like motherboard is, an, is known as heart of the PC uh, to be frank and it is the main thing where all the function goes uh, to be honest uh, with on motherboard you cannot also use a CPU so it does make sense right uh, so uh, if you follow these tips uh, you don't blow up your motherboard quite often and uh, so if you are new to this channel drop a like drop a comment and subscribe my channel take tune